Why should questions always be selection based? Spice them up by using drag and drop questions in the brand new Adobe Captivate 7. Let me show you an example of a question screen that I've created using Adobe Captivate 7. Here what I've done is I have made the options draggable and uh, the learner is supposed to drag and drop them on top of the board and click submit. If the answer is incorrect, they get some feedback. Let me drag another incorrect option and see what happens. I get the feedback again. And once I select the correct option and submit, it is accepted and is passed on to the LMS that is configured by the author. Let me close this and show you how I created this course. So I've here I've just created three smart shape with some text inside and here you can see that there is there is this image of a female and she's holding a board. So on top of that board I've added another smart shape which is transparent and named that as a drop area. Let's add the drag and drop interaction on top of it. It's very easy. Just go to insert and click launch drag and drop interaction. If you don't want to go to the insert menu, what you can do is you can go to drag and drop panel and click this magic wand here, which allows you to launch the interaction wizard. Click it and it allows you to select the draggable. In this case, the draggables are these options. So I will just select these three options and they turn green. I will click next and this time I have to select the board because that's my drop target. I will click next and now I will show the relationship. So here the correct answer is the third option. So I will show the relationship here saying that this is the correct answer. And I finish this. If you want to use this as uh, an assessment question, leave it the way it is because it allows the learners to uh, place uh, the option on top of the board and based on that, they get some failure text. But if you want it to be a practice based interaction, I'll show you what to do. But before that, let's enable reporting for this question. So you have to include uh, the question and quiz and assign some points here so let me just give some 20 points here for this question and you can say add to total and report answers so this option now allows you to report your scores to the LMS now let's make few more modifications here I will select the drop target and in the accept panel instead of saying accept all what I will say is just accept one and if some other option is uh, placed over there replace it so what it will do is that if I place option one and then I decide no option two is correct before clicking submit button I can go and replace option one with option two so I will say replace and click OK. So it accepts all three options, but it allows you to replace the options. And for making it um, a practice type of a question, what you can do is you can uh, allow infinite attempts and you can say reset all. So once uh, they uh, you know drag and drop incorrect option and click submit it uh, gives them a failure text and that option goes back to its original position and allows them to have one more chance to uh, place the option at the correct location let's see if this interaction works for us so i will press f4 here to preview the screen and let's see how it works so i'll place the first option oh that's partially correct i think this should be the correct option so i will place this and you will see that the first option is replaced when i place the third one the second is replaced so you can see that it it replaces the option as soon as i drag and drop there and uh, if this is incorrect option and i click submit i get the failure text which is of course configurable and uh, then I can go and place uh, the correct option on top of the board and it accepts and reports my answers to the LMS. Thanks for watching this video and I'm sure you would love to try out Adobe Captivate 7 with this brand new drag and drop feature.